So this is the second video on proportions. Uh, I'm looking at problems five and six from our handout because these have the variable in the denominator and the earlier examples in the first video had the variable in the numerator. Please go back and watch that video if you haven't yet before you watch this one. Really similar idea here. I can multiply to cancel out a fraction. And so what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by x. I'm also going to multiply both sides of the equation by 14. <clears throat> the reason for that is I don't want fractions anymore in the problem. I just want to have everything on one line without fractions. Multiplying the right side by x can cancel out the x, but it doesn't cancel out the 14. Multiplying the left side by 14 cancels out the 14, but it doesn't cancel out the x. So I have x times 3, or 3x, whatever way you want to write it, equals 102 times 14. Many people will call that cross-multiplying. It is just multiplying. You are multiplying by x on both sides, and you are multiplying by 14 on both sides. I'm going to grab a calculator to do 102 times 14. 102 times 14. Uh, 14, 28 sense equals 3x and then divide by 3 because that's how you cancel multiplication. x equals 476. Take that answer and check it. Does 3 over 14 equate to 102 over 476? You can just type in 3 over 14 102 over 476. If you look right there in the calculator, the last two fractions are both equal to 0 0.21. 0 0.21 is equal to 0 0.21, so it checks out. I'll do problem 6 just a little bit quicker so you can see the process all going through. I multiply both sides by y and multiply both sides by 75. So I have 75 times 5 equals 15 times y. What happened there? I multiplied both sides by y, so it canceled y on the left. And I multiplied both sides by 75, so it canceled the 75 on the right. They moved across the problem, which is why a lot of people call it cross multiplication. 75 times 5 is 375. Just did that on a calculator and then divide both sides by 15, and you get 25 is equal to y. Put that up here to check my work. Does 5 over 25 equal 15 over 75? Feel pretty good about it because both sides are three times bigger than each other. The, the 15 is three times bigger than 5, and 75 is three times bigger than 25. If you type it into a calculator, you get 0 0.2 for both of those, and that's it. Please feel free to ask for more questions if you need anything.